Hi everyone, this is a very easy way to show you how to use the Bosch Tassimo VV2. I'm just going to make myself a hot chocolate right now. I have made another video of this, but some people said it wasn't as clear, so I'm just going to make it very simple. That button shows the water tank and when it's red it means that you need to fill the water tank. There's my water tank, I filled it up. The light is gone. Pop your mug in or cup, whatever you want to use, under there. Open that from there. Choose your drink that you want to put in. It's going to be a pod, something like this, or thinner, it depends on what you're having. All you need to do is turn it upside down, so the barcode facing down, and there's only one way to put it in. Here. So that bit sticks out, pop it in like that. Literally just pop it in, there's nothing hard about it at all. And that's just going to be like that. That's the lid. Here we go. Just press that down now. Click. When that's clicked, all you need to do now is press the button once and wait for it to do its magic. Now before the machine stops, I like to keep the button pressed so that I can get some more watery chocolate, if it makes sense, because there we go, so as soon as that sound goes off, I press this button and basically it tells the machine to continue to pour hot water with the remaining um, chocolate that's in the pod and when I want it to stop, I'll press stop. I was basically just move my finger, sorry, move my finger and it will eventually stop. That light will continue blinking until it's safe for you to open and remove the used drink pod. There we go. You can open this now. Click it up, open by itself. As you can see, it's used on because there's remaining chocolate parts there. If you remove it round like that. It is a little bit hot, so just be careful. Especially if little children, young children are using this, just be careful. I've got a seven-year-old who loves to put these in here. Um, yeah, so basically, there's still some left inside, but like I said, um, when, when I'm doing my hot drinks, um, usually I like my mug to be filled up more, because with this Cadbury one, it doesn't really fill up a full mug at all. I know I've got a big mug here, but even your standard mugs, it doesn't really fill it up all the all the way to the top. So I tend to listen out to when it's about to finish. As soon as you hear it, it's about to finish. You just keep the button pressed and hold it down, and it will continue continue the water. Um, and obviously, while well, making hot chocolate, so it will continue pouring hot chocolate down all the way until I remove my 
my finger or thumb again um, and that tells the machine to stop and that the drink is finished. That's the only way you can continue to fill up your cup with more drink. If you're not, happy, you're not satisfied with the amount of drink you're getting from your coffee pod or hot chocolate pod or latte, then that's what you need to do. All you need to do is keep it pressed, list it out for when it's about to finish, you keep it pressed, and then that's it. And that's what I'm done with that, so close that and just turn it off from there. Or it can turn off by itself, but I'm just going to switch it off from there. And that's my hot chocolate made. This is the VV2 Bosch Tassimo hot drink coffee machine. I hope that was clear enough and I hope you'll try this out because it is a lovely um, useful uh, machine to have around the house and this is this is the smallest one I have. VV2 is quite small, it's quite compact. Um, it will probably make two drinks from the amount of water you put in. It doesn't have a big water capacity but that's not a problem for me because the sink's just down there and just top it up whenever you want. All right. Have a good night, guys. Bye. I hope you enjoy watching.